Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Dragon's Dogma 2 walkthrough. My name is Brian, if you happen to be new around here, but I'm going to walk you through Pray for the Pack. This is an urgent side quest that kicks off in the game right around the Checkpoint Rest Town. Now, there's a couple ways to get out here. This is located to the far, far west of Vernworth, and you can also hire an ox cart to get out of here. And this is basically a checkpoint uh, little town between the border of Batal and Vermood. More guides on that coming soon to the channel. So hopefully you guys like Dragon's Dogma 2 guides. If you are, you're already in the right spot. But anyhow, this is gonna kick off once you get to the town and you need to go and talk up to the apothecary shop in the south. Uh, there is an owner there named Morris and he's gonna automatically just jump you into conversation because his grandson has been kidnapped and he's going to implore you to go and find him and what this then does is it kicks off kind of a little location to go talk with the different townspeople in the city so you're going to be first looking to gather any kind of information about where he's located and you're going to look for three different npcs to talk with that's alisa and an older woman named jinked and finally a man named timothy and these three people will help progress the quest and put a quest marker further out of town and you'll see that located on your map to the east and so you're going to want to follow the pathway uh, to be able to get to the location but this kind of gets interesting because once you get to that location the trail goes cold and that's the assumption actually probably why you might have clicked on this video in the first place but fret not they the boy has been gathering these moon glow flowers and so what you're going to be looking for is petals scattered around the ground and so you're going to want to go ahead and take the pathway up north eventually you're going to get to a small kind of bridge that's going to take you across the river and the, you know then you'll see more of the petals like i actually ran past the bridge originally and i was like i don't see any petals anymore backtracked up across the bridge and continuing to follow the pathway until you get to a cave where you find the boy uh, surrounded by wolves and you're going to have to take out the wolves and then you're going to have to guide him back home. There's still uh, scary monsters out and about, so I would highly encourage, especially while you're escorting uh, the boy home, to not engage in any dangerous fights. And then you just want to take the boy all the way back to his grandfather back in town, and he's going to reward you handsomely. This is an urgent quest, and it changes, obviously, if you do not save the boy's life, but hopefully that's your goal to save his life and complete this quest. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button if you're new around here and uh, hit that subscribe button, especially if you're new around here. I'd love to have you in future videos as well. Thank you so much for your time. Hopefully you have a lovely day and hopefully I'll see you next time. But until then, take care.